Kaminsky. She's a bright, beautiful, and talented girl who is a champion cheerleader. You would never guess that just last year, scoliosis almost took her dreams away from her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah! Luckily, Madison was able to have a revolutionary new scoliosis surgery, which took away her pain and gave her her dreams back. I met Madison at her home in Hamburg, uh, and immediately I took off my shoes and I started cheering with her, and she's extremely acrobatic. I was diagnosed in November of 2013. And how did you know that you needed to go to the doctor? Like, what was going on? Um, I had really severe back pain while cheerleading and just doing normal everyday things that shouldn't hurt. Madison is just one of two million teens diagnosed with scoliosis each year. It's a painful genetic curvature of the spine, which can give you that hump. Towards the end, I was very self-conscious because you could start to see it through my clothes. You could tell I was crooked. But was it like, a sh like one shoulder down? One shoulder. shoulders down and my sleeves would always fall off and stuff. Traditional treatment for this has uh, been having a painful back surgery but there is something new it's called a vertebral body tethering it's an extremely new technique to treat severe scoliosis now there's only five to seven doctors in the world who do this and luckily madison went to one of them so i went to go meet her doctor in new york city in the past we've done um, a metal rod fusion technique where we fix the spine in one position but the downfall there is that you can't have very good mobility so this surgery specifically allows for the same kind of fusion, but with mobility. Now, there's a huge difference in recovery time for this. Six months versus six weeks. What they did was they went in through the side and they put bolts in the spine. They tethered it with strings. They tightened the strings, putting her spine together. Wow. Instead of having this dramatic curve that it had had. And straightened it out. Straightened her out. Now all the doctor says is that they want more people to not only know about this for treatment, but also they need more doctors to do this. There's only five to seven in the world. Three of them are located in our wow. area. I, yeah, I'd read that it, instead of it being operations over a series of weeks, it was that in one day they're able to do the operation, and so the recovery time is quicker because it's much less invasive than what they had and, been doing. And they don't take the muscles. Again, to get to put the rods in, they have to separate the muscles in the back. Um, this was through the side. My best friend uh, wore back brace in high school and middle school. She had to wear it for a lot of years. I want to say like eight. And even then I left her very stiff. We were actually on cheerleading together and she could not keep up with the back handsprings and the different stunts that we would do. So this sounds like a great alternative to not have those long lasting side effects of the back brace. Seven and eight. Yeah! yeah. 